In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this awesome loading bar on libgdx. First, I set up a libgdx project called loading bar. So I set the destination folder to loading bar and click on generate. Then I fired up Android Studio IDE and I opened the project loading bar. After that, I downloaded the awesome loading bar assets from Graphic Burger. So the link is given in the description below. Then I have to edit the loading bar using Photoshop. I need the two parts, the background of the loading bar and the front part of the loading bar. I did set the front loading bar to fit the background loading bar. This will make the process of coding it very much easier. Then I saved them in two different files, one called loading bar background and the other loading bar progress. Then I did copy them into the asset folder of my loading bar libgdx project. LibGDX has an Asset Manager class that helps us load all the graphics assets. Create a function called Load Assets. This will be responsible for loading our assets. The Asset Manager has two functions, Load and Get. Load will load the assets and Get will give us an object to that asset. Now I did set up my desktop test environment on Android Studio. I had a bug in the first test. I need to set finish loading function. Now the test is working. Now let's start drawing our loading progress bar. For this we need the background and the front ground, we're gonna call it progress. Once once our two pictures are loaded, we can use them. Finish loading tells the asset manager to stop the execution or to block the execution of the program until the pictures are loaded. Now we draw the loading bar. First we draw the background of the loading bar, then we draw on top of it the progress bar. For now we are just testing, there is no animation done to the loading bar. For this we are going to separate the front part of our loading bar, the progress bar, into three parts, start, body and end. So this when we stretch the loading bar the loading bar will not be sketched up or will not be messed up. To do this we use the texture regions from the loading bar itself texture. The loading bar has a width of 498. We use 20 pixels for the start and 20 pixels for the end and the remaining for the body. The body will be stretchable. We correct the values accordingly. Now we are ready to draw them. There we go, everything is working fine. Now let's make things way much more fun. Now let's test our code. For this, we're gonna need a bunch of pictures to make the asset manager loading slowly. The update function tells whether the asset manager has finished loading all the assets. It returns either true or false. To test the loading, we make the picture being drawn only when the asset manager has finished loading the pictures. Now let's download those pictures. 
I did download nine pictures and then copy and pasted them. Now the asset manager will have some hard time loading all those pictures. So we will be able to see the progress in action. Asset Manager has a get progress function. This will return a value between 0 and 1. 0 this means nothing has been loaded. 1 this means everything has been loaded. We just have to stretch or shrink the body part according to this value. There we go. Awesome test. I did duplicate those pictures to make the loading progress a little bit slower so that we can see the loading in progress. Oh yes. Now we'll put that loading picture in the middle of the screen. To do this I created two additional values. One for the initial position on the X axis and Y the initial position on the Y axis. So this is just a trial and error process. Do it again until you find your real value. Do it until you find the right values. There you go. Awesome test. The last part is to add the text to the loading bar. Scrangy. You can download it from Google. Copy and paste them in your font folder of your system. I'm going to use a bitmap font tool provided in libgdx. To create a bitmap font, there is a tool called Hyro available on libgdx. You can find the download links below. Save the generated file in a folder called font. Put it in the asset folders. Now we can add it to our libgdx project. Now we can draw our loading text. Here is the first text. The text is a little bit too big, so we're gonna make it smaller and turn the color a little bit. We are almost done. We just have to position the text at the right position. There you go, the final product.